Hurricane Lee is heading toward the United States and eyeing up parts of North America. It's a serious storm, and I think there's going to be a lot of people caught off guard on the effects. The National Hurricane Center expects Lee will weaken, but could also expand in size and gain speed over the next few days. The fact that it's a wide-reaching storm, I'm worried if, 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 if even if it's not a direct landfall, uh, it's going to impact a lot of folks, and that means power outages inland as, as the winds are going to go way past the coast. In addition to being left in the dark, some residents may also see heavy rain, gusts of wind, and potential coastal flooding. Right now, the probability of tropical storm force winds across portions of New England is about 10 to 20 percent as of right now. Could that change? Yes, possibly. The presumed damage caused by Lee will be added to the already record-breaking tab the U.S. has racked up this year from weather-related catastrophes. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says in 2023, the U.S. has had 23 disasters that cost at least $1 billion each. That passes 2020's previous record of 22 such incidents. NOAA says there's been nearly $58 billion worth of damage and Hurricane Idalia's costs have yet to be tallied. I'm John Lawrence reporting.